Hey YouTube, this is BrickBuilder011, and today I'm going to be coming at you guys with another LEGO Star Wars set review, and uh, I, have, I have not posted one of these in a very long time, so uh, I'm really excited to uh, get another review out for you guys. Uh, there's been a lot of new sets lately, uh, a lot of the new 2012 sets. And um, I'm really excited to do a review on this one. Uh, this is my birthday set. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like $49.99 US dollars um, from where uh, I got it for, from where um, uh, my family got it for me for my birthday. Um, but uh, I was also given uh, a ton of other stuff, so this was, um, this was, um, I would have gotten more Lego, but uh, I got a ton of other stuff, so. A Lego set like this is enough um, Lego, but uh, the good thing is I also have uh, $240, $260 of spending money, and uh, I plan to use $100 of that on, um, on, uh, sorry, uh, on uh, Lego, <laughs> why can I remember that, on uh, Lego, and uh, I'm going to use about the other $140, $160 on um, something, something for me, like uh, maybe new nice pair of new shoes or um something uh probably not shoes I'm probably just yeah <laughs> i usually don't buy myself my shoes so um but yeah i'll get something other than i don't want to spend just 260 dollars on lego uh, i'm sure not a lot of other people do too uh, unless you're like i'm a big lego fanatic but like there's a lot you can do with 260 dollars and uh, we all know that lego does eat up your uh eat up your wallet so, um, yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, get straight into this review. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, this set is, uh, ages 8 to 14, and, uh, it is set number 9493, so 9,493. It is the, uh, X-Wing Starfighter, and, uh, it comes with 560 pieces. Down here you've got building toy, and then I think that's, like, Spanish and, like, German or something, I'm not sure. And then um, over here, you've got all your minifigures. You've got Jet Porkins, who is a new figure. Sorry, let me zoom in on this. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. Yeah, I've got Jet Porkins. Sorry if you can't see that. My camera's not focusing in the light. Like, I've got one of my curtains closed and one of them open because it's like the light, uh, it'll like be too, it'll be too bright and I'll cast a shadow, so... Yeah, so we've got Jet Porkins, he's uh, a new minifigure, as you can see there. Then we've got uh, R2-D2, the, uh, he's the uh, new R2-D2. And then we've got Luke Skywalker. Uh, and then we also have a new uh, droid R5-D8. And uh, that's uh, probably my favorite minifigure in the set, and I'll show you why. And uh, so that is uh, the front of the box. Then let me show you guys the back of the box. We've got... Uh, showing it shows you how the set works and the basic features of the set, and uh, it also shows you scenes from the set. And uh, yeah, you can go to Lego.com and check it out. This is inside of the box. It's a pretty large box. Not that big, not that big, but uh, it's pretty big. And uh, then here's the instruction. Booklet. It was uh, a bit confusing because at first when you see an instruction booklet like this, you're used to opening it like this way, um, not like over. But then when you open it up, you actually have to look at it like you're looking at it this way. So I guess you're meant to hold it sideways and read it like just a book. But uh, yeah, it's actually um, a really, really fun build. Uh, it, uh, it's one of those builds where once you finish it, um, it all just comes together and it, it makes it uh, super, super cool. Um, and uh, it, like you do a ton of, ton of work and then you put all the pieces together and it just like fits, uh, it fits together so nicely. It's a really cool set. So yeah, let's get on to the minifigures. Um, firstly, we have uh, this guy right here. We have Luke Skywalker. And, um, as you can see, his face, there is his face, and, uh, he has some basic Luke Skywalker details, and he's got a kind of cool torso here, as you can see, 
Oh, his torso has got some nice details. Sorry, I have to zoom in because my camera's not focusing. He's got a cool torso. Okay, and then he has uh, one of those blue lightsabers. And uh, with the handle, and then he's got a cool back pad. It's like uh, not really a backpack, more of like a vest type thing. So that is him. And uh, he also has a pretty cool helmet. He's got like the Republic helmet with like the cool details on it. And uh, yeah, uh, please make do with me, guys. Um, I'm really sorry that my camera's not focusing. <laughs> Sometimes, I have a, this camera's really weird, sometimes it'll focus really well, sometimes it won't, sometimes it'll be HD quality, and other times it'll like go into 480p. And a couple of video, a couple of videos ago, it actually went into that, and the quality was so fuzzy, it was really annoying. But, uh, yeah, um, now we have, uh, Jet Porkins, as you can see. Oh, I like that name, by the way, Porkins. And uh, he has got a very similar torso to uh, Luke Skywalker, and the same back, and the helmet is uh, slightly different. It's more uh, red and inflamed with those little Republic insignias. And uh, he comes with uh, a regular pistol, as you can see here. He's got that pistol. And, uh, he's pretty cool. Any figure, I liked him. Now we have uh, R2-D2, as you can see. He's the newest R2-D2. Uh, it's not new to this set, but he's one of the new R2-D2s. He's got some really cool decals and everything. So that's him. And then we have R5-D8. Yes, R5-D8. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, this is really cool, mainly because of its head. is shaped... Uh, it's more like co uh, conical uh, rather than um, spherical. And uh, it looks really, really cool. It's got some epic details. Um, and uh, I really, really like this uh, particular droid. And uh, I think he's the guy who pops in here. And I'll show you that uh, now when we get to the set. Okay. This is a very awesome set, in my opinion. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, now, I'll quickly get into the features here. First, we have this little uh, foot under... It's a very sturdy thing, as you can also see, too. It's got a little foot here, and uh, the foot can also uh, bend in if you don't want it to be out. It's got these little missiles at the sides here, and then the big missiles here. And uh, it has a little cockpit in here. And uh, if you can see that, it's got uh, the controls right there. And then we've got this nice little spot for the guys to sit in. And then on the back, we've got some really cool details. We've got some, like, these engines with fire flares, I guess you could call them. And the main feature of this is um, when you turn this knob, um, the wings will flick out, just like that. And uh, it's, it's a little bit, yeah, there we go. The wings will flick out just like that. We've got this epic, epic set. And then let me quickly turn that. And then it, it'll pop right back really nicely. And uh, then you can get a droid to come sit right in there. And then you put your guy in the cockpit there. Uh, they'll fit in right in the seat. But uh, yeah, my camera's running out of time. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, this is BrickBuilder011 signing out. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the review, so uh, thanks guys, bye!